Hey, it's slightly bad close to pros. I'm back again, and I promise never to speak about that drama debacle ever again. Jesus, don't need to wake up at one a.m. in the morning to hate and bile and spewing of nastiness at me on Facebook. Jesus Christ, didn't sign up for that. All right, now we're going to look at my first battery, my first and only battery demo, out of sight, out of mind. It's pretty cool. Nice full screen swinging logo. This music was done in music I went fine, it's crap Nice DYPP there, much better than the one in the last part of my picture vision design. You might have noticed the sinus was really big. Same fast loader as I was using in future vision. Cool battery logo by my friend that went to university. Um, the Fiend. I made a mega, do, did mega tech tech out of that logo for the sequel to this demo, but it was never released. Now, that looks like a Mandelbrot or something up the top there, but it's a simple um, uh, Chaos Demon uh, program where I, I, all it does is have one rule. It can't go back on itself. It can go in any random direction, but not back on itself, and it draws these wonderful random patterns. particularly proud of this part. It has a um, graphic equalizer based on the output of the third voice of the SID chip. It's got a fake DYCP um, reflection and a, ref and a reflected plotter. Now the plotter took up a lot of raster time because I wasn't very good at plotting. <laughs> and those aren't all those dots being plotted. There's one dot and another dot coming along behind it to erase the trail. So we make it look like there's long trails of dots, but there's only like let's see, eight dots there. Notice the nice outros and intros to each part of the demo. It's important to have introductory and outro um, effects like that. Now, if I did this demo now, it could be one file. Now, I invented this effect. I don't. I've never seen it before, and I invented it myself. It's two lines of sprites that are multiplexed, um, and and they're turned into a DXPP. I invented it. Yeah. Now, I couldn't sideboard a scroll because it was where I was doing all the calculations for the scrolling. This, this is called a DY, that, this is called a, a, an FPP. Now that um, scroll there is good and everything, but look what it can make it do. It can stretch, and it can flex. Those are the only effects I know how to do, and it can manage to change color. 
Now, DOPP is sort of a complex um, demo routine. I'll be explaining it one day, but at the moment, just know that it's cool. Now, I've got no idea how to get out of this part, so I'm going to have to reset. Okay, this is the last part. Now, there's just some way to load it normally, but I forget. Now, that's actually two um, bitmap scrolling, color, color bitmap scrolling um, scrollies, and there's no tricks. That is normal, um, hardcore, normal bitmap scrolling done um, properly. Not with the HSP or anything like that. It, it took up all the rust of time and all I had left was enough space to put text on the screen. I stole the font, but I didn't steal the code. I stole the font and the data tables, and I didn't steal the code. So it makes it like a, a stealing a font, really. And that's it. There was supposed to be a sequel. But then it was. And the funny thing is, um, I had a ripped tune, all of my tunes were ripped, but I had a ripped tune from Drax, and Drax actually made me an exclusive tune for my first demo when I came back to the scene in 2005. So that's it. Out of sight, out of mind. Maybe there will be an out of sight, out of mind too one day. But for now, that's all I have to say. So, goodbye, and hello to code. And goodbye to haters.